Greetings, YouTube. I'm going to be linking to a story about a dead pony. It's not a cheery story. Um, it comes from Dartmoor, England. And I, as an aside, uh, the UK has such wonderful place names. Dartmoor is a great name. Um, and in the story, a pony foal was found dead and eviscerated. This caused a panic. Um, people were screaming and yelling about the fact that there were evil Satanists and witches that were sacrificing animals. But then come in some actual police investigation, you know, as opposed to moral panicking. And the, after the actual police investigation, they discovered that the pony foal had actually died of natural causes. And the evisceration was the work of wild animals who are wont to open up a carcass and consume the innards. Um, so there actually were no witches and Satanists that were harming um, pony foals. But, you know, you have to admit that a pony foal, that's, that's going to go right into the heart of your average person. The poor, innocent little pony foal being attacked by witches and Satanists, who apparently don't actually exist um, in this particular instance. Um, now, I've known both witches and Satanists in the real world, um, and I have no recollection of any of them ever harming anyone. Um, the closest they have come to evisceration will probably be the meals they eat. Um, and the article links to something C.S. Lewis once said, and it deals with the concept that when you hear news like this, are you relieved that it was not true? Or are you disappointed that it was not true? That there is a ready audience for this type of salacious news reporting, that these kind of moral panics find an eager ear in the world at large. Now in America we've ha gone through a number of satanic panics which have destroyed people's lives, that there are people still in prison for crimes that not only did they not commit, but for crimes that did not and have never existed. But they are in prison for these fictitious crimes because some people with that salacious ear want to believe so badly that there are people in the world murdering and eviscerating pony foals. And you're probably thinking, that's, that's absurd. The way you're putting those terms, the terms you're putting that in, make it sound like absolute insanity. And you would be correct. It is absolute insanity. It makes no sense. <clears throat> but there are people willing to listen to this. There are people who are eager to listen to this, who want it to be true to justify their own personal prejudices and belief system. That they can then take this information and use it to, to help control the community around them by creating a group of others that they can then prosecute, um, ostracize, and blame for the ills of the world rather than actually facing the true ills of the world that they themselves may have some part to play in. Now some of these people are could very well be trying to hide their own ills, and some are just trying to grapple with these horrible things that happen in the world and how can they happen and this does not fit in with my world view so it must be someone else's fault and that group over there is really convenient and witches and satanists are very convenient also the lgbt community look at the current state of things in russia classic fascist thinking find a social group demonize that social group ostracize that social group blame them for all the ills of your nation and eventually of course kill them um, as a distraction from the fact that the ills of your nation are far more complex and are very likely being caused by the group of people that are creating that ostracized social group so in this case we have a very clear example of people eerily looking for news that doesn't exist of wanting something to be real that isn't so ask yourself when you hear news like this are you relieved or are you disappointed <laughs>